Following the announcement today about the new mutant variant of SARS-CoV-2, I thought it would be a good idea to try and summarise some of the data that is known so far. As always, these data are correct at the time of making this video, and they may change over time as studies continue and new findings are announced. The first thing to say is that mutations are a natural part of viral development. The copying of the mRNA which holds the code to make the viral proteins is not perfect. Just like when you write a letter or type an email, you might make spelling mistakes. The virus does the same thing. A vast majority of these mutations, which simply mean changes in the genetic code, give the virus no advantage at all and go unnoticed. And there have likely been thousands of mutations already that have been largely undetected because they've died out too quickly. But sometimes, as is the case here, the mutations by pure chance give the virus an advantage of some sort. The current variant is a combination of 17 different changes from the original virus that was detected in Wuhan, China. The new variant was detected by the COVID-19 Genomics UK Consortium, which randomly samples positive COVID-19 samples across the UK and sequences their genome, or translates the genetic code, looking for these changes. The consortium is a partnership of the four UK public health agencies with academic institutional support, and they've sequenced over 140,000 virus genomes already. They have previously detected over 4,000 mutations in the spike protein, which is a part of the virus that allows it to bind to our cells. The new variant has been linked to the rapid rise in cases in London and the southeast, and it's likely that it's also responsible for the rapid increase in number of cases in South Wales. It was announced today that it has been shown that the new variant is more infectious, meaning it can be passed from one person to another more easily and is able to cause COVID-19 in these individuals. Now, importantly, just because a virus is able to spread more rapidly, it does not make it more dangerous, meaning that the severity of the symptoms of COVID-19 that it causes are no worse than other forms. The current evidence suggests that the mutated form is no more dangerous than other forms, but further investigations are ongoing to confirm this with more certainty. Now, probably the most pressing question people have is whether or not the new vaccine will still work and the evidence at present suggests it will. Proteins are made up of a sequence of amino acids, and the order of these amino acids tells the protein what shape to take. In the mutated form, the key change is a single amino acid in the spike protein, which has changed from an asparagine residue, which is shown in the top left, to a tyrosine residue in the bottom. And this amino acid is at the 501st position in the sequence. Now, on the right, we see a representation of the spike protein, and this is what the mRNA vaccine tells our cells to produce, and for the immune system to recognise as foreign. Importantly, the immune system will recognise multiple points on this spike protein as foreign. So even if the mutation changes one point of the spike protein, enabling it to bind more effectively to our cells, there will likely still be many other regions of the protein that are still recognised by the immune system, meaning the vaccine should still be effective against this new variant. Now over time, if more changes in the spike protein occur, then changes to the mRNA vaccine may need to be made. But one of the key advantages of this new type of vaccine is that they can be tweaked much more quickly, enabling us to change the vaccine much more quickly as well. The fact that the new variant is more infectious does mean that more precautions need to be taken and frequent hand washing, wearing a mask where possible and maintaining social distancing will help prevent the spread of this new form of the virus. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider commenting and subscribing so that you get notified when I release more. Thank you for watching.